The term police brutality comes from a New York Times article describing a beating of a civilian by police in 1893. After Nixon declared war on drugs in 1971, police were given even more authority than before. In the federal drug control budget was $155 billion. Today it's more than $15 billion a year, or after inflation, 17 times higher than 1971. Most likely you'll know when a student in your school has been murdered, whether it be by the police or someone in the streets. However, the person around the corner from you or the next school, you know, you hear it, but you don't pay any attention to it. A fatal police shooting of a 68-year-old ex-Marine. Kenneth Chamberlain Sr. was the U.S. war veteran who fell victim to unnecessary deadly police force last November. New York City, where Marley Graham was standing in his bathroom when he was shot in the chest by a plainclothes narcotics officer who forced himself into the home without a warrant. The 18-year-old was not in possession of a gun or drugs, and according to NYPD officials, the 30-year-old cop who pulled the trigger lacked the proper training to work in his assigned unit. Two months have passed, and there have been no charges in connection with the killing. Ways you can get involved. The October 22nd Coalition. Every October, people gather around the country to protest police brutality. If there isn't one in your area, let others know that there should be one. Or you could just spread the word. Just let people know about what the police are doing so somebody could do something about it. 